Uh, welcome to the video lesson dealing with butts. Now, now what are butts? Actually, uh, yeah, we can go into it uh, by using a particular example. You have a stem and you have a leaf coming out. And now, now <coughs> at this particular junction, uh, which is called an axle. Uh, if buds develop from that particular part, you call call them axillary buds. So they are called uh, axillary buds. So uh, what are buds? Now buds are actually uh, compact uh, forms of uh, shoot development. And uh, if you if you look at the basic features, uh, it could be uh, something like yeah, first. Um, they, they are quite uh, <coughs> underdeveloped, of course. Uh, um, it simply means that they are under, I mean, they are uh, premature tissues. Uh, naturally, as I already mentioned, they are quite compact, and uh, but, um, uh, which simply means that the tissues are crowded together before before they, they are on the path of development. Uh, um, another point is that, uh, of course, uh, they look condensed, uh, <coughs> and uh, in most of the cases, uh, um, as in the case of the axillary, but I, I had drawn here, they they have a, uh, a kind of uh, so, uh, semicircular or, or, or dome shape. <coughs> now we can look at uh, some particular cases of. Uh, axillary butts and now uh, butts are butts could be uh, butts can be uh, divided under different uh, different kinds of features and uh, the first thing is uh, dealing with the uh, uh, what kinds of butts and the division of butts on the base of the uh, nature and the second could, uh, could be <coughs> Mm, I mean, uh, are, the, are the butts in a stage of development or not? Or is something happening with the butts or some things like that? So, uh, I mean, uh, division of butts on the basis of their um, active mode. Uh, third, third classification is um, is ba based on uh, now, now that's an important thing. It's based on their position. And the last thing uh, could be, uh, I mean, um, there, there are cases where the butts look naked, uh, but uh, in different shapes. Uh, so, uh, so on the base of uh, uh, what is called uh, the covering nature of the butts. Now, uh, um, the key important factor is that all, all these four divisions are uh, specific examples, and we are going into Exam. So, um, as far as the first case is concerned, uh, uh, as I already told, uh, it's uh, based on what kind of bugs are we dealing with. Uh, now, uh, the, the, the term, the, the picture which brings, uh, uh, which, which comes into our mind as soon as we hear the word bud is uh, about, about the floral bud or the flower bud. And so, um, naturally, um, uh, that's, that's a very important uh, kind of bud. That's a floral bud, which means that <coughs> it develops in the, in the flowers. Uh, of course, uh, uh, floral. Um, when we mention about floral buds, there are. Uh, it simply means there could be buds which doesn't have that characteristic uh, vegetative uh, vegetative buds, which simply means that uh, they produce. Um, leaves so, or other plant parts and uh, and there are interesting cases where um, the buds may of in the future develop into both the uh, floral and vegetative uh, plant parts so uh, such such buds can naturally be called uh, mixed buds <coughs> now active mode uh, uh, as the uh, particular uh, term indicates it's uh, uh, it has two types. Of, uh, is the bud growing? Is the is the bud um, 
uh, on the path to develop uh, further cell cell tissue. So if it's in the on, on the part of growth, you can call it a, um, active and naturally if the, the body is in such a manner that uh, it only develops later or it, it's in a period of some kind of a hyper, uh, hyper uh, I mean it's a kind of um, <coughs> uh, I mean staying like that for, to, to wall off unfavorable conditions. So such cases uh, we can call uh, such buds uh, dormant buds. Now what about position? Uh, now this, uh, this is the most uh, important classification of as far as buds are concerned. And, and the first case which uh, I already mentioned in the beginning of this, uh, this lesson that is uh, the axillary buds which develop in the, in the axils that is at the junction between the stem and uh, legs. So uh, the buds which are found at the <coughs> axils that is axillary buds. So then you have the case of uh, uh, what is called accessory buds. Accessory, as a, 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 as a name indicates, simply means that uh, they, uh, they, they are additional to the already uh, assisting parts. And, uh, uh, interestingly, accessory has, uh, has two, two divisions coming up. The first thing is what is called uh, uh, collateral, and uh, collateral simply means that it's on the side of the accessory. That's a, that's a bud which, which comes. Uh, uh, <coughs> on the side of an asteroid but and um, the second case is what is called superposed so superposed uh, as the name indicates uh, this is a bud which which comes um, or an above the axillary but uh, so uh, I mean uh, it's in the, in the manner overlapping the axillary but so <coughs> so this is the two divisions of the accessory case and um, the other case which we are looking at is what is called uh, uh, adventitious. And adventitious, uh, 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 I mean the definition is that uh, at places, but developing at places uh, um, uh, at uh, other, other, other than stem. But developing at uh, locations other than the nodes uh, are called uh, adventitious buds. So what about covering? Now that's a quite simple case. Uh, covering simply means that uh, those buds which uh, are surrounded by other plant structures and which, which ca can't be seen. Uh, so such such buds are called uh, covered buds. And, and actually uh, the second case would be the opposite of covered, that is that's naked buds. And, Naked buds are usually um, in the case of uh, tropical plants. So they, these are the important divisions uh, uh, as far as uh, buds are concerned. And uh, mm, the point to note here, as far as the examination point of view is concerned, is, 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 uh, uh, is the third division that is uh, the classification of buds on the, on the basis of uh, their position uh, uh, with uh, respect to the, uh, the stem. So we can look at a few examples and uh, this, uh, this is a case of <coughs> um, the axillary bud and it's very clear from the position. Uh, you, you have the bud coming up from the from the axle that's the uh, junction between the petiole and, uh, and the stem. So uh, it's a axillary bud. And of course, uh, in this particular case, uh, uh, no particular in any manner, no particular description is needed from the coloration itself. Uh, it's very clear that uh, we are dealing with a floral bud. And uh, here, uh, this thing, this bud uh, is coming up from a you know, location other than the moon. Actually, it simply means that uh, it's a case of a, a case of an adventitious, uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, adventitious. But so, thank you.